This question's from Amanda. Mm -hmm. She asks, is it possible to maintain a connection with God when we are afraid? Well, here we need to define a few things. So mm -hmm. what do we mean by connection with God? Well, we mean that dur during this connection with God, we can be receiving God's love. So mm -hmm. let's say, let's say instead of the words connection with God, we say, is it possible to be receiving God's love when we are afraid? Mm -hmm. Well, the answer to that question really is, it depends whether we're feeling our fear or not. Or living in it versus or, or, living in it. Or living in it. Yeah. So, uh, well, as I originally said, just feeling our fear or not. Uh-huh. Right? If we are feeling our fear as an experience, if the fear is actually as an emotion passing through us, mm -hmm. then any other emotion can also pass through us at the same time. This means love, including God's love, can pass through us. So theoretically, it is possible to maintain a connection with God or receive God's love as you are feeling your fear. Mm -hmm. The problem is, though, that when we talk about people being afraid, they're usually not feeling their fear. So they are, they've blocked themselves to feeling the emotion of fear. Mm -hmm. If you're blocked to one emotion, according to what we've discussed as how the human soul functions, that's the, that's the attitude of preclusion. Yep. So, so while one emotion is within you and you're blocked to feeling it, you are now also blocked to feeling other emotions yep. right? as well. And you are also suppressing, and, and the, the process of suppression is that you can't suppress one thing and hope that you're not suppressing everything else. Mm -hmm. right? So there are principles about how the soul functions here now that are governed by what is the answer to the question. So the answer to the question is, if we are afraid but we are not feeling the experience of our fear, mm -hmm. in other words, we're, we're in it, we're in, the feeling of fear, we're in the feeling of fear in the sense of we live by it. So it's, it's, it's in inside us. of us and we base our decisions around avoiding yeah. it. Uh, yes, yeah. and we're not feeling it, yeah. then yes, it is impossible under those circumstances to feel a connection with God and to feel the flow of God's love. Mm -hmm. And it's also impossible to feel any connection with truth and probably impossible to feel much of a connection with desire, particularly desire in the direction that we're trying to restrict the fear. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that are impossible, actually, if we stay in that state. Yep. But as soon as we choose to feel and experience the fear, now these other things become possible. Now we have the ability to receive some truth about it. Now we have the ability to actually receive some of God's love while we're experiencing the emotion of fear. So this is the beautiful thing. Sometimes you can be going through the emotion of fear and at the same time receiving God's love as a confirmation that this is what you need to do right at the same time. And this is the beautiful thing about our relationship with God is that if we allow the emotion to flow and have a longing for God's love at the same time, then God's love can also flow at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the beauty of that is it confirms to us that what we're doing is the right thing. Yeah. This is why I can speak with a lot of conviction about emotions because I've had that confirmation from God about these emotions yeah. by going through the experience. Yeah. And every person who goes through this experience will have the same confirmation. Mm -hmm. so, so what I suggest to people is to say, okay, let's look at this issue of being afraid. Are we actually feeling the f experience of being afraid or are we in denial of our fear? And we're just walking around afraid every, everywhere we go without feeling it. Mm -hmm. And it's governing every one of our actions. Now, if it's the second, if we're walking around afraid and it governs every one of our actions and we're not feeling the fear itself, then no, we can't maintain a connection with God. And I suggest to, to everyone that you can't even maintain a connection with anyone else if, unless they are also in a state of fear. Mm. That's the sad thing. It's mm. like, you won't be able to maintain a connection with anyone who's in a state of truth. Anyone who's out of their addictions and out of their fear, you won't be able to be connected to either. Mm. Not just God, but also any one of those other people you won't be able to connect to. You'll only be able to connect to the people who have the same fears you do. Yeah. That's the reality. And, and you'll you, feel drawn to them. Your connection is based around the avoidance of that fear. Correct. Rather than, rather love than the feeling or, of it. Yeah. yeah. When you choose to feel it, all of those people will disappear from your life, actually. <laughs> All the people who have the same fear as you who do not want to feel it will all run away from you mm -hmm. and you'll be left alone to feel it, which will be fantastic because you do need to feel it alone. Mm -hmm. right? And then once you work your way through it, and if even as you are working your way through it, 
as you are experiencing it emotionally, you can not only receive God's love, you can receive God's truth, you can receive other people's love, you can receive their truth, mm -hmm. you can do all sorts of things in your relationships now that you couldn't do before. Yeah. So actually holding on to fear and basing our decisions around it and trying to pray and connect to God at times, at other times, we're far less likely and even impo it's impossible for us to connect with God in any sustainable way while yep. we live in that state. Whereas as soon as we begin to feel it, uh, we enable more connection with God, with truth, with love uh, from all sources. Yes. Yep. And that's the beautiful thing of going through your fear. Mm -hmm. If you go through your fear, what you finish up doing is you finish up coming to this point where you now trust God and you now trust that working your way through your fear is, is going to change your life, completely change your life. Mm -hmm. And you now are willing to go through the process of feeling your fear. And the beautiful thing about going through the process is as you're going through it, you receive love from God. And that, that is just a wonderful thing because that gives you confirmation that you're doing the right thing. It's only the avoidance of it that causes you to stop receiving God's love in yeah. that moment. Yeah. So if you have a real heartfelt longing for God's love while you're going through your terror or fear, you will receive some of God's love while you're going through the yeah. experience. And that, and that then confirms to you that the experience was worth going through. <laughs> Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Mm. But what most people do is they come up to their wall of fear, they hit it, and then they run away. And they don't get to feel that if you feel it flow through you, that you and also have a longing for God's love at the same time, that you actually have confirmation that you're on the right track from God, and you also at the same time have received some of God's love and God's truth in the process. And you've also received some truth from God about fear, mm -hmm. that it's actually just an emotion mm -hmm. that you can process and that you don't need to be so afraid of your fear, <laughs> which is what most people are. And this is why faith can grow exponentially, can't it, once we yeah. start to really feel our fears and causal emotions. Because yes. we, as we start to do it, we begin to have experiences that confirm things in a real way, so it's not just a theory. Mm. And that inspires us to have more, which gives us more emotional confirmation. Which yeah. So faith grows exponentially as we as we, yeah. But the, the key is starting that process, isn't it? Yes. And like I've said, we've been teaching this process, I've been teaching this process for many, many years now. Many people have listened to it for six or seven years and yet they haven't got beyond their wall of fear. Mm -hmm. and, and while they don't, they don't get to experience the flow of God's love by going through their fear. Yeah. And that means they don't get to experience any positive effects of listening to the divine truth and so they run away from it. And, and naturally so, you're going to do that. There's going to be many people who continue to do that until they realise that the way to experience some of God's love and the way to actually work your way through things is to actually allow the flow of emotion in our soul while you're having a longing for God's love. And as you allow that to occur, you will receive some of God's love mm -hmm. and that will become the confirmation you need that this is the way forward. And you won't need to rely on AJ telling you or Jesus telling you anymore. You'll be able to look at the situation of what's occurred between you and God mm -hmm. and you will have received direct confirmation from God that this is the way forward. Mm 